Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about William Gomes. Gomez. Gomes. I think it's Gomes. First, Joe Anderson Burrito. William Gomes, 13-2. Decent win streak, you know. 11 wins in a row. Plus 215 underdog, 27 years old. Six foot tall with a 73 inch reach. Fighting Joe Anderson Burrito, who's 17 and three. Also on a decent win streak of five wins in a row. He's seen loss recent, losses recently. Minus 270 favorite, 29 years old. 5'8 with a 72 inch reach. Two inch, or actually four inches in height for Gomes. And with a one inch reach advantage as well for Gomes. So... The thing I think that Gomes brings to this matchup that's nice, he has eight finishes out of his 13 wins, only has one TKO win in the first, four in the second, two in the third. He's very, very good cardio. Has been submitted, has been submitted once in the second round. He's 3-0 in the UFC with only one finish, which came against a Yanis Gamagori, which when they flipped the matchups, so thank you for that, I guess. Uh, has a majority win over Jarno Ahrens, a split decision against Francis Marshall, and then the finish against Gamagori. Joe Anderson Burrito is just another monster. He's just another monster. He, he really is. 15 finishes. Has been finished two times in his career as well, but it's been a while since he's been finished. Hey, he's 5-1 and one in the UFC. <laughs> he has five finishes in the UFC. All of his wins are by finish. One decision loss. It's against Bill Algio, which, yeah. He yeah, was also the last guy to beat Diego Lopez, which you guys know how good Lopez is. That's pretty awesome. Uh, actually destroyed Chepe Mariscal as well. So there's that, you know, there is that. So, again, who's the guys that he's fought? Andre, Andre Feely destroyed him 41 seconds. Lucas Alexander, rear naked choked him. Weston Wilson destroyed him. Jonathan Pierce finished Jonathan Pierce, who is pretty durable, even though his... His matchups haven't gone his favor as of late. Good fighter. And then beat Jack Shore. Even though the the doctor stoppage was weird, for sure, I don't think Jack Shore was getting back in that matchup. I just think the speed of Joe Anderson Brito is, is a nightmare for anybody. Six first-round finishes. Does have a second uh, finish, second-round finish as well on his record. But six first-round finishes. Four subs in the first round. So he has ten first-round finishes. I just, I really like Joe Anderson Brito in this matchup. I think he does a lot of good stuff. Let's check this last thing out real quick. Um, so average fight time for Gomes is 14, over just over 14 minutes. So just under seven minutes for Joe Anderson Brito. Here's where it's interesting. Strikes landed per minute is 2.62 to 3.35. Accuracy is 46 to 51. Strikes absorbed per minute is 1.49 to 2.65. Defense is 75 to 46. A lot of this from Gomes is just because he doesn't throw a lot. So, you know, he has good defense, but he's also in good spots. So, and we've seen if you can pressure him, good things will happen. Takedown average for 15 minutes is 1.6 to 3.11 for uh, Brito. Accuracy is 60 to 76. Takedown defense is 81 to 62. Uh, submission average is 0.7 for Gomes. So, Brito can take him down. He has very good accuracy. He goes for a lot of takedowns. He has good submissions. I, I like the hands from Brito. I expect him to go hard on him in the first round. Pause. <laughs> to go, to put the pressure on him is a better phrase. To put the pressure on Gomes early, see if you can get him out of there. If you can't get him out of there early, look for him to pick him apart, mix in his wrestling, look, mix in, look for uh, submissions. Um, but I like Brito by KO or decision. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking down below. And as always, peace.